In this video, we're talking all about Entity Relationship Diagrams, or ERDs. We'll explore what they are, why we use them, and learn about ERD symbols and best practices. An Entity Relationship Diagram shows the relationships of entity sets stored in a database. An entity in this context is a component of data. In other words, ER diagrams illustrate the logical structure of databases. At first glance, an entity relationship diagram looks very much like a flowchart. It is the specialized symbols and the meaning of those symbols that make it unique. An ER diagram is a means of visualizing how the information a system produces is related. There are five main components of an ERD. First, there's entities, which are represented by rectangles. An entity is an object or concept about which you want to store information. A weak entity, represented by a rectangle with a double outline, is an entity that must be defined by a foreign key relationship with another entity, as it cannot be uniquely identified by its own attributes alone. Actions, which are represented by diamond shapes, show how two entities share information in the database. In some cases, entities can be self-linked. For example, employees can supervise other employees. Attributes are represented by ovals. A key attribute is the unique distinguishing characteristic of the entity. For example, an employee's social security number might be the employee's key attribute. A multi-valued attribute, an oval with a double outline, can have more than one value. For example, an employee entity can have multiple skill values. A derived attribute, an oval with a dotted outline, is based on another attribute. For example, an employee's monthly salary is based on the employee's annual salary. Connecting lines are solid lines that connect attributes to show the relationships of entities in the diagram. Cardinality specifies how many instances of an entity relate to one instance of another entity. Ordinality is closely linked to cardinality. While cardinality specifies the occurrences of a relationship, ordinality describes the relationship as either mandatory or optional. In other words, cardinality specifies the maximum number of relationships, and ordinality specifies the absolute minimum number of relationships. There are many notation styles that express cardinality. Among them is the information engineering style. This is the Chen style. Seen here is the Bachmann style, and this is the Martin style. When documenting a system or process, looking at the system in multiple ways increases the understanding of that system. ERD diagrams are commonly used in conjunction with a data flow diagram to display the contents of a data store. They help us to visualize how data is connected in a general way, and are particularly useful for constructing a relational database. You can build an ERD fairly simply using a diagramming software like SmartDraw. Here are some best practice tips for constructing an ERD. The first step in making an ERD is to identify all of the entities you will use. An entity is nothing more than a rectangle with a description of something that your system stores information about. This could be a customer, a manager, an invoice, a schedule, etc. Draw a rectangle for each entity you can think of on your page. Examine the entities to see if they are related. If so, draw a solid line connecting the two entities. Now, describe the relationship. Draw an action diamond between the two entities on the line you just added. In the diamond, write a brief description of how they are related. Any key attributes of entities should be added using oval-shaped symbols. Continue to connect the entities with lines, adding diamonds to describe each relationship until all relationships have been defined. Not all of your entities will necessarily have relationships. Some may have multiple relationships. That's okay. When building your ERD, here are a few things to keep in mind. Make sure that each entity only appears once per diagram. Be sure to name every entity, relationship, and attribute on your diagram. Examine relationships between entities closely. Are they necessary? 
Are there any relationships missing? Eliminate any redundant relationships. Don't connect relationships to each other. Use colors to highlight important portions of your diagram. It will also be helpful to browse through existing ERD examples to give you an idea of how it's done. We hope you've enjoyed learning about entity relationship diagrams. Thanks for watching.